Hey guys, Nathan here. Now a lot of you guys have been asking us to tow with a crossover and today is your lucky day. We're gonna set up this Volkswagen and we're gonna take it towing. The reason why is because this baby can actually tow up to 5,000 pounds when it's got its 3.6 liter V6 engine, which it does. So 5,000 pounds, we're able to tow our big trailer and then some. Now, there are a couple things and they're pretty cool things. For one thing, it has a pretty good setup for a camera system in here to actually align your towing system. Another, well, it comes with a factory tow hitch and it comes with, and it comes with, and it comes with something that I don't quite recognize. And as such, we're gonna go get Andre because I'm a little confused. Normally speaking, you have a pin connector set up, especially if they give you the tow hitch. It doesn't really have that. And I'm gonna talk to Mr. Trailer, that being Andre, and we're gonna figure this out. So follow me. Do you love motorcycles? So do we. That's why we're bringing TFL videos to two wheels. Check out TFL Bike for all things two wheels. Link is down in the description. Andre. Hey, Nathan. Um, I need your help. What's up? So, the new Atlas that we had that we wanted to tow with that we talked about. The Sport? Right, well, the, cro the Cross Sport okay. thing. You can tow 5,000 pounds, right? Comes with the factory hitch. Yes. There's a block covering where you would plug in. You're the expert on this, I'm not. I want you to have a look at this and try to figure it out. I think I understand. Okay. I, I, I get it. Hold, hold on. Good, because I don't. It's a weird spot, too. It, it doesn't look like a normal five pin connector, right? Or the regular one, that, a seven pin, right? Yeah. It's something else, and it's completely blocked off. So, what's the towing capacity on 5, this? 5,000 pounds. 5,000 pounds. That's really good, actually, for an SUV. It is. It's not the best in class, but it's up there. And the thing is, is that you can get that with the big V6, which this has. And it has the backup cameras, and it has the thing that aligns, which is really nice okay. for a trailer. But it has this. Look down there. Ah, uh, yes. So, so what this is? I've seen this before okay. on VWs. Um, this is actually a European connection. Basically, basically a way to hook up to a European type of um, trailering connection. And you see, it has four bolts. So. There's this little clip, and see, this is just a cover. Okay, so then you could just plug the trailer in and go. Uh, no, no. So, so this is a sp very specific orientation of pins, specifically for a European model. But, but isn't this man uh, made in Chattanooga, Tennessee? This is not only made there. This was designed specifically for American audiences. This is, in fact, it's not sold overseas. It's sold here. This is an American vehicle. So we, we need an adapter, dude. Well, yeah, exactly. So what do we get to plug into that? Okay, so guys, I, I've done this, I've been through this before. Okay. <laughs> with several other VW vehicles. You have to call a dealer, usually because the dealer would have to give you the adapter because it's very specific. Okay, specific, very specific adapter. So let's see, you know, we may have one. All right, let's have a look. Okay, hold on. So while he goes and has a look, so you guys understand, a majority of vehicles that have a tow package in the United States that are sold in, for the United States audience, that's us, um, they have usually a seven pin connector. Um, you go to any U-Haul dealership or whatever and you put in a tow thing in your vehicle, you're going to get that usually to begin with. Now, there is a step above that. We're not talking about that next step, which is trailer brake controller. Now, I know for a fact that it's about a $500 install in many vehicles, including Volkswagens or more, for a trailer brake controller. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about towing with a regular trailer, regular hookup. Am I correct? Regular trailer, what, what is that? Correct, so because we've ran into this problem before, we actually purchased, TFL purchased a part. It's an adapter. Mm -hmm. And I just noticed, Nathan, yep. this adapter for US is made in Germany. <laughs> Is that is that for real? So so what you're saying is this vehicle, which is built for the American market, yes, in America, in America has a European connection. Connection, 
which is built in Germany. Yes. But they're fully aware of the fact that you have to get an adapter. An adapter. To, uh, okay. okay. So, how about this? Um, first of all, let's show them exactly the issue. Let's back up to the trailer. Uh -huh. Let me actually unlock the trailer so I can actually hook up with a hitch. And what about in the next video, we actually go and tow with this thing? I'm looking forward to it because everything I've read on the Atlas towing has actually been pretty decent. Okay, so let's organize this, okay? All right, let's do it. All right, so to put it in reverse. Now, there are a couple things you can do. If you look down here, all these different modes, useless. So this is the parking camera. Now there are a variety of different views um, that you can use and by simply pushing the different sections of the vehicle, you can get a variety of different ones. So this is the important one here. This is what I was talking about. So that is the first component of this camera system that I love. Look at where the tow hitch is and how it lines up. And yeah, as you turn the wheels, you can actually line yourself up as you're approaching. Now here's the cool part. Uh, let's see if I can do this right. You can actually look closer. Boom. Ah, so there's the tow hitch. Can you see that right there? And you can line that baby up. So once Andre gives me the go ahead. We about ready, Andre? Yeah, back up. A little bit towards the driver. Up. Okay, that's perfect. So guys, let me show you the, exactly the connection issue we're talking about here. So this is a standard seven pin connector in the US, right? Can you see that? It looks identical, right? You can't plug it in, just can't. This is a female, this is a female, uh, it just doesn't work. Okay, so what okay. do you have to fix that? Okay, so. Yes, this adapter, so we just talked about it, right? So it plugs in into the factory part. It's perfect, it locks in, and then you can actually install it back with screws. And now, you have a little door. <laughs> Look at this. Why don't they just come with that when they sell it? I don't know, it has a towing package. But, well, it does have a towing pad. That's my point. It comes with a hitch. Yes. And it's all wired. Yes. So why don't they just add that component, which was, how much did that cost us? $57 for the adapter. $57. So why the hell isn't that part of the package? Huh? The other, you mentioned trailer brake controller. Right? Yeah. This is a heavy trailer. Yeah. The trailer weighs about 3,000 pounds. It's capable up to 14,000 pounds. Obviously, we're not doing that with this. Right. But you have to have brakes by law, right. over 3,000 pounds. Over 3,000 pounds. In Colorado. So, we have another solution. Take the tire off and it's less than 3,000 pounds. No, no. Okay. We have a remote brake controller right here. We're using a Prodigy RF. We purchased this. Unplug this. Or you plug in your trailer. Into the RF remote control so it, towing box. Okay, and then that connects to the same yes. seven pin connector. Yep, and the towing box connects to your towing vehicle. And then you have a little device inside. Which will let you calibrate and get everything down for yep. your braking. That's cool, that keeps you legal. And yes. because this can tow up to 5,000 pounds. You have to have it, you especially have to in have the mountains. Yeah. Right, okay, so that makes sense. Yes. So, maybe in a later video we find out actually how this thing tows. I think we should. I think we should go all the way, to, maybe to the Ike. Let's do all it. Right. So let's button this up and actually drive into the sunset. That sounds good. Okay. All right, uh, we'll do a brake test, yes? Yes. Hey, Nathan, yeah. uh, does your device say C on it? Yes. All right, pull forward and slam the manual controller on the brakes. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. A lot more aggressive. Lights, brakes. Everything works. All right, let me take it for a spin. Okay. Maximum towing is 5,000 pounds. That trailer is about three. So Andre, we need more weight. Okay, well I weigh like 200 and something pounds. Okay. 
but I have an idea. Alright, uh, yeah, there we go. No, this... Okay. Okay, hold on. Scenes from TFL Bike, folks. You're wondering what we were doing? This is part of it. Huh? What do you think? It's great. It's great to just stay on there while I tow you up the ice. 